Our last hero was Zoya. Like Amadeus and Pontius, she was also enchanted with the mystical powers of Trine. Fate and fortune had brought her to a city overrun by merry revelry, but cheerful festivities were the last thing on Zoya's mind. As the quest was about to begin, Zoya had been up all night, doing things becoming to her secretive nature. Perhaps not all of those things she was up to were appropriate for a hero. While the whole city was busy celebrating, Zoya was sneaking about with mischievous intent. An entirely honest entrepreneur would perhaps have chosen a door for their exit. There were so many paintings up there, it'll take them weeks to even notice one of them has gone. Wait, what am I doing talking to myself? Already late for the masquerade. Isn't it supposed to last all night? Unlike the merry revelers, Zoya wasn't interested in the festival of masks. She had an engagement of another sort entirely. Now to find the doorbell. A pleasure. In exchange for the stolen painting, Zoya received a purse full of gold. That wasn't how it went. Let's try again. Unexpectedly, however, the thief found her conscience weighing upon her. It was just a painting. 
Maybe the masquerade can cheer me up. While she was on her way to the masquerade, Zoya happened upon a place that brought back memories. The town's orphanage. At least no one's around to see this new low. Dear Zoya, prestigious hero, savior of the kingdom. We need you to bring Prince Celius back to the care of the Astro Academy. As long as he's out there alone, the prince is in certain danger. Those shadows. Oh, it was just a nightmare. Awaiting news of your success, Wilhelmina, Wizardess of the Astral Academy and representative of the Grand Council. <laughs> 